Hello everybody. Uh, today's video, I want to show you guys a prototype uh, that I made. This is a recreation of the three pod boat that I did in the States. And I used 55 gallon barrels in that one. The good thing was at the time I got the 55 gallon barrels for free. Uh, here they're about 20 bucks a piece. So, so I used uh, what they call Labradors, kind of like the dog, Labrador Retriever. Uh, they're just wash, wash tubs, but they're very thick and um, kind of heavy duty and they're super cheap. Usually about two to three dollars for one of them. And for the wood here, I used quarter inch plywood, which you can see there, quarter inch plywood and for, it, for being so light. Each one of these pontoons individually is two pounds. And this boat, without the batteries, but everything else, is 34 pounds. So that is uh, very light. I can carry it really easy. My end goal is to eventually make it where it's uh, sectional, where you can just all snap it together. So for the motor here, I uh, kind of put this to slapped it together. I had two bilge pumps, 1,100 gallons per hour for each. And I have two of them there. And I have this battery in series, so it's gonna be 24 volts. And I did a quick test to see if the 24 volts would smoke them. And they seem to work okay in a very short test. So this All right, so I'm a little nervous. I've never been in the, the sea before with one of my boats. So see we got some waves today, which I'm definitely not used to. And the current seems a little strong. So I'm hoping I can at least break the current. If not, this is gonna be a very short test. So, all right, first comes the build, then the water. Let's go.
big waves for, for a boat here, especially I'm not used to those. Uh, once I got out past the waves, so to speak, um, I was doing good as long as I was facing in the waves, but I thought I didn't have time to turn around and kind of come back. Uh, but that motor, it does work okay, but with the current and the waves, it just it can't keep up. But anyway, so I tried to turn and I wasn't completely turned around yet and it just uh, tossed me off. But uh, good learning experience and I need to do a better job of sealing these up. And especially this one, I just have a big gapping hole in there and that one completely filled up. Even with that one filled up, it still was floating just fine. Obviously I wasn't on it at that point. But um, a very good learning experience and a good step in the right direction for, for this prototype. So, all right, thank you for watching as always. Take care and go.